Hey guys, my name is Hal, and today I'm going to show you how to stake in Field Genius for Android. Uh, so if we click on our Plum Bob icon, and then go into our staking option, which will bring us into our staking menu. And here you'll see uh, your stake list is currently empty off to the left hand side. And to add points to a stake list, you want to hit the pencil option. And here you can see, you know, if you're just scrolling through, all your points that are currently stored in your database. Um, you can individually select uh, which points you're wanting to add just by clicking on the checkbox off to the left. Um, or you can use our filtering option and filter by codes to add to your staking list. Uh, so we hit on our uh, filtering icon on the top there. And because I've already have um, some filters selected. I'm just going to clear clear those out and hit continue And then I'm just going to click into the codes And to add codes uh, you just select on the checkbox uh, for which code you're wanting to add And I'm just going to add our um, control codes here, which are the CNs which are already toggled on So I'm just going to hit OK and then apply and you'll see that the CN codes, when I get back to the, the points list here, those are all going to be checked off. And if I hit done, uh, that'll add those CN codes to our staking list, as you can see um, off to the left here now. Uh, so if you know which uh, point you're wanting to stake out, uh, you can just toggle that on um, from the staking list off to the left. So for example, if I select uh, point 61, it's going to automatically select that point to stake and off to the right hand side, uh, you'll see our staking feedback, uh, which is right now currently set to show direction and distance to the point. Uh, so if you toggle on to the left um, icon, it'll switch um, the, the staking feedback um, to show Cartesian values to get to your um, point. Uh, we also do have the option to toggle on full screen, uh, which is just the toggle up uh, next to your instrument settings. So if I select that, uh, that'll bring the staking menu to a full screen option. And I'm just going to hide uh, the staking list so that it is full screen now. Um, but if you don't want to see the full screen, just hit the exit and you can use the sidebar option that it was currently set to. And I'm just going to open up my staking list here and I'm going to stake out uh, control point uh, 692. And I'm just going to bring my staking feedback back out. And I'm just going to hide the staking list now just so I can see the map screen a little bit better. Uh, so if I use our zoom option, uh, you can see that where I'm currently located and I move. And then you'll see the red rubber band line uh, to where the point that I'm trying to stake to is. So when I pick up and start moving, you'll see that the map screen automatically resizes once I get closer to the point. And I'm just going to stake this point and store it. And here you can just review um, the staking uh, residuals. And then you can hit save. And if I just bring back our staking list, uh, we do have the option to show staked, which I'll toggle on. And you can see that point 59, 60 have been staked. And um, next to point 59, you'll see um, next to the stake option two, that just means that the point has been staked out twice. And you can see 
uh, the point that I just staked out was 692, and it has um, a one next to the staking option, just meaning that I've only staked it out once. Uh, so that is how you would stake in Field Genius Android, and thanks for taking interest in this video.